Hello everyone. Hello, hello. I'm Tony. And I'm Tammy. And we are the Lazy Lazy Book Book Lovers. Lovers. This is a podcast for book lovers who procrastinate about reading and have never-ending to-be-read piles. Today's episode is just a silly little fun one because it's episode 90 and we like to do something silly and fun every 10. Um, And we did so much preparation. Oh my god, such good prep. We're so professional. It was not two minutes before we started this podcast. (laughs) We're also, um, I'm going to explain what we're doing in a second, but we have dice, and I had to be educated on how to use this dice, because apparently it's not that intuitive, and considering I got it wrong when I was first asked. Wait, how do you get, tell me please, how do you get it wrong? Right, so my, my brother is like a whole D&D nerdy person, so we've got special dice here, alright, so... This one is like our hundreds number. Mm-hmm. So like, that's like, okay, it's 100. 100, yeah. And then this is our tens. Yeah. And then this is our like, littles. Yeah. Um, so that's like 181 okay. altogether. So how did you do it wrong? I just didn't quite clock. I was like, I don't know. I got. Okay. I just got confused. So we've got it. I'm not smart. <laughs> Also, it's just something about when your big brother's like, explain it back to me, yeah. that your brain immediately goes, goes into like, oh, don't get it. Oh, what are you talking about? That's why every time you explain this episode to me on voice note, I was like, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> like, she was like, what's the concept? And I was like, we're doing this. And she's like, "It's you're just being charged. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, I, I, I genuinely just could not make my brain even try. Yeah. It was like, no. I must have explained it three times before I was like, you just just turn up. The moment you started talking, you were like, there's dice. And I was like, no. <laughs> right, I'm okay. excited. So, basically, you see these videos on TikTok and Instagram probably all the time. These whole, like, 10 to page 74. And the first line is, like, what it says about blah. Um, I thought it'd be fun to just do a few of them. And I've got dice sound fun. to pick the page number. We've got some books here. I've got a pile of books. They're mostly romance, to be honest, because I just thought that would add some funnies. Um, but yeah, before we get stuck in, do you have anything to talk about with the people? Hi. Hi. Please come and join our Facebook group. We yeah. want to make a little community over there. It's called Lazy Book Lovers Podcast, I believe. It'll also be linked in everywhere. <laughs> yep, because we're at episode 90 and there's just not enough of you following us places. Mm, please. please. Please and please thank you. Them. We'll actually do stuff on social media if you're there. Yeah. I mean, one could argue that if we post on social media, you <laughs> might then appear there. What's that thing from that film? <laughs> Build it and they'll come. Away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? A part of this, it's part of our brand is the lazy things built in. We're both busy people. <laughs> We're busy people, so, like, we have to conserve energy. <laughs> and sometimes just the episode barely makes it out the door, so... Sometimes there's days when I'm really tired and feeling really overwhelmed and stressed as a mum. And then my son informs me that... <laughs> <laughs> that actually, he doesn't have to wake up at ten past five every morning for the last five years. He could sleep a little bit longer and wake up at a proper morning if I want. Just silly mummy, never never discuss with him the option. (laughs) I didn't know that I just had to cry in front of him about how tired I was and then he would start waking up at seven instead. And it was his idea. (laughs) And he was like, oh, I have a solution, mum. What if I stayed in bed two more hours? And you're just like, that was an option? I literally could not believe this was an option. (laughs) And now, um, uh, completely off his own back as well, he has been getting into his school uniform before he comes and wakes me up as well. (laughs) You'd think I'd be better well-rested, but I'm not. (laughs) well you've had some other stressful things happening such as they need to just chill out for a bit yeah you need like two weeks if i think it just chill yeah have a great thing yeah i only have to share with the people some facts for you that just so you know if you buy one of these at home gel kits things with the special light Mm. as i discovered recently you can 
if you're not using the chemicals and lights and things properly, it's not like, ah, oh, silly, like nothing that bad can happen. No, you can literally develop an allergy to the gel. And um, your fingers can all swell up in massive blisters. And you'll be very sad. And also no and more pretty pain. nails. Yeah, it was very painful. Uh, it's still very painful. Um, so just an FYI, guys, be very careful with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's um, a reason that uh, people go on courses to learn. <laughs> yeah. I've um, it properly. But just like, apparently, even right down to if you buy a light by a different manufacturer to the, the manufacturer of your gels, they can not be able to talk to each other properly. That That's like a thing. Sounds like such a good scam. I don't know. It was selling things like. I don't know. It wasn't like a. I'm gonna um, make it so you can only use my light with my gel. It was a dermatologist's mm. website that said this. No, I believe yeah. it. It's just. That sounds mm. very capitalist. Yeah, like they've it's literally like made products. chemicals that are designed yeah. yeah, to work better with their light it's or something. Because like, you can now um, buy, oh, I don't know now, but you can buy like the cable for your earbuds now, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, but... so you don't you lose your AirPods. <laughs> so it's like we've gone full circle. <laughs> well, my dad's wife has a flip phone. Yeah. Yeah. A new flip phone. The new fancy Galaxy it's a big flip phone. Flip phone. Yeah. It looks so cool. I remember having one before. Mm. <laughs> Although this one's touchscreen. And fancy. And oh, I never good. I never got like the really good flip phone. And it doesn't have snake on it, so it's not actually that cool. Yeah. No, I had a little pink flip phone, quite like that. I've still we still had that in the loft till recently mm. and it feels like a toy. Um, and then I had the Motorola Pebble, mm. which was like not everyone else had Blackberries, so I just felt a bit left out of the whole Blackberry gang. Yeah. Um, and then me and my friend we both had Pebbles, mm. and our parents would not let us get new phones because they were perfectly fine phones. Yeah. Uh, so we both were trying to break them deliberately, and, and including them. my friend dropped his off the third story of the English block. And the fucking thing survived. <laughs> yeah, but now you look at your phone yeah. wrong it's and the sneeze cracks. and it's just like cracked. <laughs> um, both my kids have got my old phones because they want phones and mm. they've been loving life. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Even the baby that has just turned a year. Yeah, knows how to use a phone. She comes over to my tablet and swipes around and opens stuff. It was the one. It was. It's so intuitive to these children now i've grown up with it like yeah. so did i told you about when i worked in a tech store mm. and there was a little boy who had been making purchases and all sorts of stuff on the ipad when a very technologically illiterate mother mm. and the mother came into my store because it was a second-hand gaming store where we sold stuff like tablets she came in and said someone has left their apple account on the iPad and the iPad's locked out. I was like, no, your child has entered the password wrong so many times that he's locked the iPad for a thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> Just um, iPad stuff. <laughs> and she was like, no, he, no, no, that's not what's happened. I was like, that is what's happened. I've literally told you what's wrong. I was like, we literally will not buy these products in unless the Apple account has been wiped. It's part of the buy-in check thing. Mm. So there, there is no way that the Apple account could still be left on here. Your child has locked you out. And she was like, but he doesn't know the password. I was like, well, that is fucking clear. That's the Cause... problem here. But then she was like, but then all these mysterious transactions have been happening. I was like, if it was someone With else's... your child that's been playing on your iPad. Well, her point was that this is the proof that it's someone else's Apple account, but she was getting charged. And I was like, if it was someone else's Apple account, you could not be charged because you're... Apple account is linked to your billing information. Mm-hmm. So how are you getting charged for someone else's Apple purchases? Mm-hmm. And she's mm-hmm. like, that's not how this works. And I was like... But... It is, it is though. though. <laughs> and then... But... I was like, and then I had... I sort of was just... I was literally just explained to her kid. And I was looking at her kid and I said, do not do this again. You will break your iPad. And he started crying. And she was like, I did not pay you to tell off my child. And I was like, I was just explaining it. At all, love. I was explaining him how the technology worked. And he started crying. I wasn't even like, I'm good with kids. How old was he roughly, do you think? Seven, eight-ish. Yeah. 
And I just always said, well, I just looked at him. I wasn't rude or like harsh. I was like, do not do this again. You will break your iPad. You need to make sure that you take this to mummy when you do this. And I was like, or oh, this will happen. And then you have no iPad. And then you just literally started crying. And I was like, and then he has no thumbs. Just <laughs> um, my daughter does something on my laptop that basically locks the taskbar. Yeah. And I, I don't know. The only way I can fix it is to restart my laptop. I have Googled. I have been on Reddit. I've done everything. I cannot <laughs> find out what she clicked. <laughs> So I, I've got a Mac and like I keep discovering like random new shortcuts I didn't know existed. Yeah. I'll just be doing something and then my Mac just like does something and I'm like, oh, you're like, excuse me? <laughs> I didn't know you did that. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Don't have them. They wake you up at 10 past five. <laughs> when they could have been in bed till seven. <laughs> right. So that's, that's our sort of chit chat. Did you enjoy that? Do you feel chit-chatted? If you didn't enjoy it, please go to (laughs) wherever you listen to this podcast and leave a text review saying, I did not enjoy that. Thanks. (laughs) But give us five stars. (laughs) (laughs) Five stars did not enjoy. (laughs) Feel like that. Ten out of ten, this broke my heart. (laughs) This broke my heart. Ten out of ten. (laughs) All right. Right, let's do this. Back to the topic at hand. I'm going to do Loathe to Love You. All right. So... The first line of dialogue predicts the rest of your 2023. Let me roll the dice to select your page number. 253. The first line of dialogue is the rest of your 2023. I already feel it's going to go badly. Right. 253. Did you get it? <laughs> I feel like that's going to be accurate. <laughs> Uh, did you get it? <laughs> did you get it? <laughs> Alright. Oh, do you want a different book or are you going to do a different I'll, role? Uh, I'm going to do my, my prediction, but I'll do a different book. Uh-huh. Okay, so I've got Love and the Brain now. So this is the rest of my 2023. Uh, 114. Can you feel the suspense? We're to try and find a page. First line of dialogue. There's gonna be no fucking dialogue, no my luck. Oh, there's no dialogue. It's gonna be a, There is yeah. Twitter conversations. Yeah, do we them. count them? Yeah. But na- <laughs> But maybe not Camel, maybe he's like, I don't know, a duck dick. Have you ever seen a duck dick? <laughs> as chaotic as I expect your year to go. <laughs> duck dick. <laughs> duck dick. Duck duck dick. Duck dick. Oh my god, what is that abomination? They've googled duck dicks at that point. Have you ever looked at a duck dick? Oh, this, are they the, the hooky, yeah, they're the hooky. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're a hooker or a corkscrew. I can never remember. I don't spend it's a lot of time nasty, thinking about whatever it. Yeah. it is. Oh, I talk about it quite a lot actually. Well, I don't know. Have you ever seen ducks in the park? Yeah, we have a little duck pond in the village, and we go and yeah. look at them quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Nature is beautiful. Um, okay. My mother-in-law and father-in-law have a rat in their garden that keeps coming in and stealing the bird food. Mm. And uh, it's huge. <laughs> we have um, mice because we feed the birds, and also foxes. We have dead mice because I have cats. Ah, uh, yeah, our cats are too oh. old to be catching things. Um, we had a red kite swoop in and pick one of the dead mice up from our garden. It was really cool. Oh, yeah. Maybe and maybe you can feed the red kites. The other, I don't want it to then take one of the cats though. And then the other morning, mm. and there was a trail of dead regurgitated slugs through the house. Oh, that's nice. I, I like that the whole week I cat sat at yours, I didn't get one dead thing. No, and I said to you, like, they're really into vomiting at the moment, and then you didn't get anything. I didn't get any vomit, no it's dead things. because they knew you were having a rough time. Yeah. Whereas everyone in my house is out to get me. So the, the, Personally, <laughs> out to get me. For context, the week I was cat sitting for Tally um, was also the week I was made redundant. So I was having big feelings, and I was just taking care of her cats and having sort of a breakdown all week. But just in the privacy of your nice little little bungalow <laughs> nice quiet little bungalow <laughs> look at little kitsies I mean it's lucky they were they were so insistent about being fed because it did make me get up quite a lot yeah Hamilton doesn't let you forget that yeah yeah he's like mm, I know you've been laying in darkness for four hours 
but bah. get up. <laughs> um, so obviously a lot of their um, their breakfast and dinner runs around um, mm. I runs around my son, I think. Yeah. So um, when my son was coming home from school two hours early, it was really messing them up. So asking for dinner <laughs> so early. They seem to adapt to like my routine quite quickly. Actually, they were quite amenable to different times. Yeah, when he's not there, yeah, they're chill. They yeah. just but something about myself. But then, like once they, they worked out the new schedule, yeah. it was like if I didn't sit after one one or two days of the schedule, Hamilton especially was like, Bitch. "Come on, yeah. come That's on." That's what I said to you. Like on this my note, they usually get fed around eight and five, but they'll be chill. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think that ended up being more because I was still going into work to have the depressing meetings, but I wasn't leaving until nine o'clock. So yeah. they were getting fed just before I was leaving, like when I was making my coffee, mm. and then when uh, about five six ish, I think. Yeah. Obviously, you weren't getting up at five a.m. <laughs> no, I was not, not still sore about that or anything. You're right. <laughs> And uh, occasionally one of them would walk in at that time in the morning and just sort of look at me and I'd be like, yes. <laughs> Charlie uh, loves to come see me at about 2am. Oh no, Charlie avoided me entirely in the bed. When I was in the uh, sofa, all right, bed, he was like, don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Charlie only actually seems to like me and my daughter. Yeah. And that's the recent thing. He's only really got comfy with me since I was pregnant. So mm. I think it's just my daughter. Yeah. Maybe like the other night I had both of them laying on me and that never happens. I was so excited. I was laying there like Yee! they kept they kept being like mm, we're not sure about you, but we're just gonna sit in the same room as you. Yeah. So quite I'm just gonna watch you. Oh, because obviously I was home during the day a lot because yeah. I'd go in have a meeting telling me I might be fired. Come, come home, home. right? Yeah. Um, and then I'd be in the living room and they'd just sort of be like near me. Yeah. In the room, but not interacting with me, <laughs> apart from at the point where they needed food. And then they're like, yeah. Yeah. Um, right. Next question. All right. So, I mean, given that we're both in like sort of long term ish relationships, right, this is going to be funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, we're going to do first line of the page is your love life. I'm going to do beach read for this one. Okay. So, 433. Have that many? I don't know if it has that many pages. Goes up to three. Should I do three hundred and thirty-three? Uh, let's do another roll. Okay. That's <laughs> another four. You can just can you just piss off? Is there three hundred odd pages? Yeah. Uh, three hundred eighty-three. Mm, that's not that many. <laughs> Let me <laughs> yeah. grab another book. No. Oh, just just do two hundred. Three eighty-three. Three eighty-three. In whatever this is. Love, Love theoretically. Here. First. First line. Like full sentence. Yes. Uh, including dialogue or? Oh, I'm not sure of the rules. Just read it out. Let's see what happens. No, I told him we were just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> I lost her up before we move out for real next one. <laughs> so, long term like... partner. We're just hanging out, mate. It's not that serious. <laughs> <laughs> just got kids and cats not that serious yet. we've just lived together for a few years I moved to another country with you for a little while and then we came back had a baby and then we had another baby sort of on purpose-ish but you know it's not that serious yo. it's not that deep no, no, sure. <laughs> we've joined finances <laughs> could um, get out any time now <laughs> um, so my partner's been a bit of a douche in that he won't propose to me what a, what a little bitch. No, such a bitch. This point, like, what's the point? Um, what you hold exactly out for? Like, what is literally your whole entire, <laughs> entire point? Anyway, so I often throw out um, some <laughs> ideas for like our surnames, like mm. when we get married, even though we're not getting married. Mm. Well, but if you could just change your names. You could just do that. I don't want. Well. I don't. I wouldn't mind taking his surname, but I was like, we should just pick our own surname. Yeah. So I suggested we push them together and made a really cool surname, but he mm. hates that option. The other day, I was like, we should do Skullduggery. <laughs> that should be our surname. <laughs> Skullduggery. Or oh, like, oh, there's some good names in Skullduggery. Mm. I feel like if you would, if you were to pick, yeah. 
Pick Soros. a name. Soros. <laughs> Nat- Nat- Natalie and Nick Soros. <laughs> it really works, even for the kids' names. Yeah. That's quite good, actually. Or Natalie Skullduggery. <laughs> <laughs> but sorrows, yeah. Nothing sorrows, sorrows, prayers. You really need to. Oh, you're never going to watch Bridgerton, prayer. but. I've watched Bridgerton, I've just not watched Queen Charlotte. You need to watch Queen Charlotte. Yeah, I know, it's on my list. I re watched it. Look, I don't have time for this, but I did watch a four hour documentary on shark exploitation. <laughs> <laughs> It's always like, yeah, I haven't got round to watching or reading that yet, but I did watch a three-hour YouTube video outlining <laughs> my current interest. Yeah, I watched like a four-hour documentary on shark exploitation in horror films, and then I did recently watch um, a ranking of all of the episodes of It's Always Sunny, which was about a three-hour YouTube video, yeah. <laughs> oh, I watched a five-hour YouTube video as well. Of someone reading and reviewing all the um, Jinji Ito comics. And yet, comics. you have not watched the TV series, but it's the Six of Crows TV series! No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I am watching the most recent Sex Education series. <sighs> I haven't seen that yet, to be fair. And I don't have an excuse. I have abundance of free time and right then, now. I might... I probably won't watch this approach yet. <laughs> Am I kidding? <laughs> it's alright. Oh, I, You're uh, finally no. reading the last two Skull Duggeries. It took us let a year and a half you. to get back here. Let but me... you always come back eventually. No, 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 no. <laughs> let me tell you what happened. Okay. You know the Cornetto trilogy films? Yeah. Um, I was what I've been watching someone do like reviews on them you know, yeah retrospectives of them and then in one of the videos about hot fuzz they mentioned that it was very like inspired by midsummer murders so i started watching that from the beginning but midsummer's murders went on for like 20 fucking years it's still going on yeah and each episode is two hours long i'm on episode four <laughs> So that is actually like, just infuriates me. <laughs> that is actually what I'm spending my time doing, my spare time. What do you mean, someone murders? Like, someone <laughs> I'm waiting for a voice note replies to a conversation you dropped out midway. Because I'm fucking watching this. Someone murders. <laughs> it's right. I'm patient. Like Skull Doggery, it's taking you a year and a half, and the impending dead night, deadline of meeting Derek Landy again, again, <laughs> for you to finish the fucking yeah, series. Yeah, because I was on the book I was on when I met him is the same one I was on when I restarted this time. Yeah. So I've listened to uh, two of them. Anyway. Oh, I've just patiently wasted a year and a half to discuss the 15th book. Do you want to do your, your love life? Yeah. Uh, I'll roll. You just read the page for me. Okay. I think we'll do that. Wait, that's what Ali Hazelwood looks like? Okay. What were you picturing? Not not that picture. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, really? Is that what she looks like? I don't know why you're checking the other ones. Like, there'll be a different person. And there might be a different picture. <laughs> <laughs> don't pick up the Emily, Emily Henry. Uh, okay. Okay. I think I was picturing Emily Henry. <laughs> Tell me what number you got. 223. This is my love life prediction. Should have started at the front and the back. <laughs> two, two, three. Uh, it's going to be the first full line, yeah? Yeah. Olive must have had her head very much up her butt to fail to notice. <laughs> what have I failed to notice? Dun, dun, da. Tell us. It's been too Boyfriend. nice up to, it's been too, too nice up to now. The other shoe's got to drop us eventually. I'm still waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to be a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting. Uh, it's 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 just gone on four o'clock, so the wave of Indeed emails are going to start coming through now. Oh, maybe we should put the phone on silent. It is on silent. It's the buzz buzz. No, something went bloom. Oh, yeah, it's the mat. Oh. But it doesn't seem to matter if I close the email 
app on my Mac, it still makes the noise. Mm. Um, I don't really know how to use my Mac. Mac not supremacy. I bought it because it I wanted one, and then I still don't really know how to use it that well. Mm. Much to the infuriation of the person I date that works at IT. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. All right. Um. Okay. Uh, so this one, I mean, is a bit moot because we're both, again, in relationships, but anyway. Uh, what the character says is what your soulmate will say when they first meet you. <laughs> so presumably, again, the first line of dialogue. Akata. You can do Akata. It's my pretty Akata as well. Yeah, no, it's, it's not even been cool. cracked open. You, get, you can I'm do scared. the spine crack. I'm scared. Right. Uh... One. See, so this is why I don't understand this. One hundred and ninety-eight. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to work out. Oh, look at those gorgeous. Yeah, things. pretty, isn't it? Uh, this is really. Oh, the paper feels really good as well. Yeah. All right. One hundred ninety-eight first. <laughs> it's the great right cauldron boil me. <laughs> Didn't anyone tell you what it is? <laughs> So that's that's uh, what my your soulmate will say. No one has ever said to me, "Cauldron boil me." So I've obviously not met my soulmate yet. It explains why Sosnick. I'm not married. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, shall we do, do the same me? Book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're both so excited. About that. <laughs> um, why does it keep doing eighty rigged? Why does Akatar look so tiny compared to fourth? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, and if you look at the yeah. actor, the paperback, it's somehow thicker. Hmm. What the fuck was that? Um, <laughs> one hundred and ten. Started at the back again. Started from the back. Now we're here. <laughs> That's what happens when you're responsible for lives other than your own, isn't it? You do what you have to do. Is that your plants? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, okay well too bad boyfriend <laughs> you're <didn't laughs> clearly not, not it with that <laughs> no, more than you're opening mine we talked about can of monte cristo because <laughs> i we met on hinge and i had one the prompt was tell me about your favorite book oh yeah because i'm a monte book girly <laughs> <laughs> um i want to read that and i want to read don quixote I might have one or both of them. Have you read them? Of course not. Oh, okay, cool. But I think I've got it in the Wordsworth. So you can, you know, you can the borrow them. I don't care about the Wordsworth ones. And the Wordsworth. The penguin. Wordsworth. <laughs> I'll just silly words. <laughs> Wordsworth. Wordsworth. <laughs> it's such a Wordsworth. <laughs> <laughs> Told you we were having a silly, goofy time this time. All right. What's All right. the next question? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, first word, word is, yeah, word singular, is what your friends call you behind your back. We're going to do fourth wing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we can do big numbers yeah, this time. Yeah, this goes up to 12,000 pages. <laughs> <laughs> um, so See this, last week for context. <laughs> <laughs> this is what your friends call you behind your back. Okay. Um, page 390. The first word. Oh, I've just done that wrong. 309. <laughs> 309. And it's the first I word. I don't really understand these words. <laughs> yes. You. Mm. Master. <laughs> Le master. Hello, master. Master. Uh, right, right, you're one. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, I don't know. I'm struggling so much. Yes, okay. 329. <laughs> oh. It's because I keep looking at the this num the numbers like the little number dice first, and oh, I was like three nine twenty. I got really, really confused. <laughs> All right, three two nine. Yeah. Yeah. Nearly or spits. <laughs> nearly. Would you? Is that is that what you call me? Of nearly. Spitz. I'm off to see old nearly. Old Spitz is here. <laughs> it's like a um, 
a, a rap name, Master Spit. <laughs> <laughs> That's our that's our rap duo. <laughs> Stand by for our spin-off Master Spits. It's <laughs> bookish rapping. Yo, yo. It will literally be the whitest thing you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Alright. Yo, yo. <laughs> that's all like in rap. Yo, Is that yo. all you know about rapping? Yeah. I just know the th- the boots and cats thing. <laughs> boots and cats and boots and cats. <laughs> oh, dear. In case you weren't aware, because you can't see us, guess what colour our skin tone is? <laughs> if that didn't give it away, I don't know what will. <laughs> I just realised I don't actually know who any of the people are who have given a Lime review on Fourth Wings, apart from the bottom one, that's obviously... Oh, yeah, I don't know who any of those people are. Oh, no, I might have heard of the top one, but I can't remember why. From this fourth wing. <laughs> Maybe. I might just be lying. I say things like this a lot. If you say things with confidence, people just believe you. Yeah, that's how you... It's how you appear smart. That's how you become a man in capitalism. Yeah. Well, it's just how you appear smart. If you just mm. say things with confidence, people just trust you. And people think I'm really clever, and I'm like, no, I just... Say things with confidence. Yeah. Um, okay. Determine if your crush likes you back. For, uh, mm, I'm gonna do fourth wing again. I think. No, let's do. What's this? Is this six of crows? I've got you six of crows. Yeah. Let's do six of crows. So I'm gonna do page number and then what line on the page? Mm. We're gonna du- we're gonna mix it up. Get saucy. <laughs> Get saucy. Okay, so on page two hundred and twenty-eight. Two, two, eight. Mm-hmm. Um, and then line. You got the page? Yeah. Line three. That's the Matthias page. Roll. Um, and what is it? First line. Uh, no, line three. Yep. Just read the I line. don't know why you're still looking at me. I, I'm like, is it, is it just the um, line or just line this three? This is a, yeah, determine if your crush likes you back. Line three. I guess okay. the complete, the first complete sentence. He'd had over a week abroad the Ferdinands to prepare, but his head had been full of the path he'd chosen, of Nina, of cruel magic that had taken him from his prison cell and placed him on a boat speeding north beneath a <laughs> limitless sky. Still bound. Ba- what? Do I do this? What just- sentence? Still bound, not just by shackles, but by the burden of what he was about to do. Miss Bardugo. So, that was a very long sentence, but also, so there you go, that's how your crush feels about you. You're a burden. I'm a shackled. <laughs> She's shackled to you, and you're a burden. <laughs> Not in marriage, though. <laughs> Squints. <laughs> You're not that shackled, are you? <laughs> okay. Just so... my bastard children. <laughs> born out of wedlock. <laughs> in a barn. You whore. It's even more chaotic than I anticipated. Oh, yeah. It was this yeah. what I intended. Okay. okay. What does my crush think about me? So, we want page 329. And then... 329. Yep. Line two. Kaz's mouth had quirked slightly at that. Oh, really tell us a lot. Then you can steal my secrets, too, is the second bit. Okay. That was a bit depressing, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not getting great predict- predictions no, out let's of this. do another one for you, because I don't like yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, 422. It's 104 days of summer vacation. And school comes along, just the end them. Okay. She's just singing to herself, by the way. I need to make that clear. <laughs> but it's not like that's such a music, is it? <laughs> okay, and yeah. then I want line three, please. <laughs> this is 
any better. No. <laughs> Lars looked from Matthias to Nina. <laughs> traitor, he snarled. <laughs> there you go. So it's about secrets and he's a traitor. Fucking knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I'm going to break up with him. I'm like, I did a book, I did a prediction. <laughs> it's not going to work out, sorry. <laughs> oh, the die told me. <laughs> The dice of destiny. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is our last one. Oh, no, well, actually, we've got two more, but they're quite short. Okay. You're quite so, short. Okay. I am. I'm That's five foot funny. two. <laughs> right, yeah. I am genuinely five foot two. Are you short? Uh, last line of the page describes your current mental state. <laughs> I'm doing the love hypothesis. So we need... 204. Yes. Should've Last line. Again, should've gone from the front. Oh, well. Last line is my mental state. Yeah. Uh, 204. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't like it. No, not really. Let's let's do a different roll. All right. It's half. It's um, half of way for a long run. Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna not, keep I'm the hundreds and then just change the. So, 246. That sounds a bit more exciting. Oh, I feel like 246 is our gal. Did you steal it? <laughs> <laughs> so, as the current men say, did you, you steal it? I did. I stole it. <laughs> I stole it. <laughs> I stole it, from, I stole it. <laughs> from the depression queen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so me, 230. Oh. That's my current. A lot of 200s going on here. Some bitch he's been fucking about with for two weeks. <laughs> or someone who's been a close friend for years. <laughs> um, some bitch he's been fucking about with. Yeah, I feel, I don't know. He's been fucking about with your mental state. <laughs> he's the bitch you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just... Plot twist. <laughs> I just have a completely rearranged room and I bought a bunch of a whole bunch of new plants. Because I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm doing better than ever was. There's a, a very tall snake plant in the corner. It's like, hello. Um, yeah. Fun fact: when I was getting that into place, mm. I just poked myself in the eye with, with one, one of the leaves. Yeah. <laughs> it was not, it was not, They're it really was not sharp pleased. and pointy. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They really hurt. It's also the same day as the whole <gasps> blistered fingers thing oh, had occurred. It was a day. Um, and also I was getting like little hives pop up and I had one like under my eye. Oh. So the same eye that had a little, re- had a reaction happening, got them poked in the eye. And then there was just one eye that was just like. Like a little pirate. Yeah. Oh, bless you. <laughs> that was last week. It was not a good week. <laughs> I didn't leave the house for a week. That's how you know it was bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Our final one is. All right. Okay. Um, so we're gonna roll a dice, and the first character's name is now your new name. Doesn't everyone pick a different book for that? I'm gonna go fourth wing. So I think we'll for fourth wing we'll say characters or dragons will be your new name. But the first name on the page. The first name on the page is my. First name, name mentioned on the page. Yeah, is your new name. Okay. Ready. Yeah. Uh, 461 I like that you've got a little pumpkin on your shelf Um, My friend Martha bought me for that for me Right, first name Solil 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 I can remember one called Solil Is that Riddick's surname? Riddick Yeah Dunno Or Tan which one do you want? Go for ten. You're not ten. Oh. That's right, I'm ten. <laughs> Tearing it up. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. This is what being a parent does to you. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> the mum jokes find you. <laughs> okay. Go oh, we've got another 400. Oh, wow. 440. Oh, cheeky. Cheeky. 440. Yeah. Uh, Dreyfus? Shit name. 
There's so many cool names I could we could have both had. You at least you got the cool dragon. Dreyfus. Mm-hmm. Dreyfus. <laughs> I'm Dreyfus Malfoy. No, I don't think it's exactly the same. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, we learnt nothing. Uh, no, it's such a great system. Use books to predict the future. <laughs> and tell us things about totally works. <laughs> existing partners. <laughs> So what, what we learn, traitor. <laughs> yeah. traitor and keeping secrets. Traitor, right there. So there you go. Do you feel? Do you feel enlightened? Like <laughs> Try it at home, boys and girls, and see how you do. Uh, um, that's it. Come and tell Episode us. Episode ninety. Done. Done. <laughs> Completed it. Come and tell us what you thought on our various socials, such as Instagram or TikTok. And another reminder to come and join our Facebook group, please. We would love to have you there. We want to talk about our reads. We want to talk about your reads. We want to do buddy reads in the future. If we do buddy reads with who's currently in there, it's just me and Tony. Yeah. And, and like you're listening to our essential, yeah. <laughs> like our buddy read. <laughs> um, so yeah, please do that. Please leave us a rating mm-hmm. um, wherever you listen to your podcast and a little bit of homework why don't you suggest this podcast to someone who you think might enjoy it yeah I mean this this episode particularly might not be your best example <laughs> yeah don't suggest this one I don't know like, Maybe they like the silly fun week. episodes you can find or the silly week. fun ones I don't know next week fourth, fourth wing will be next week next week go next week for context about me complaining about the size of fourth wing <laughs> <laughs> And getting really obsessed about primary schools. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> um, also, we're obviously barreling towards our 100th episode. We thought it might be fun to do a Q&A, so we actually need cues from you guys, because last time I just Googled some questions and then sadly read them out to the two of us. So it might be cooler if you guys gave us them. <laughs> we'll have to roll the dice, pick a random name and be like, ha ha ha, ha, ha Violet asked. <laughs> it's like when I did webinars in my old job and we'd, be, oh, we'd like do, do fake we'd do seeded prompt. questions. Because yeah. honestly, people would not ask questions unless someone else had first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we do the seeded fake question. Like, one user has asked. I am asked. <laughs> So we'll just do that. Yeah. Do you guys need it? Do you guys? Ah, oh, so yeah, no, our, our listener, Jodie, <laughs> wanted to know how long we've been friends. Do you have anything else? <laughs> <laughs> um, the link will be in the description for the episode and in our bios and blah, blah, blah. Do it. Do it. Do, do it now. It. Do like, it now. That, um, that, that gif of um, the meme of, what's his name? Can't Don't happen. worry. <laughs> Just do it! What is his name? From knows. from Transformers. Um, no, I'm just thinking you of the know Nike thing. About. The Nike, just do it. Yeah, and then name who I had until I said it, and then disappeared. <sighs> okay, cool. Yeah, I can't help you. S. You just keep staring at me very intently, and I still don't know. Anyway. Do it! <laughs> <laughs> Have a good week, everyone. Bye! Bye!